I could hear lots of shouting down here, so I thought I'd come down and check what's going on. And they were waiting for me to open the door. Now they're going away because they're thinking I'm not going to open the door. Somebody's pecking my, pecking my leg. That was you, wasn't it? Hmm? Was that you? Oh, they're all rushing after me. No, there's no egg in there. I thought that might be what the shouting was about. The only reason you're all chasing after me is because you want food. Oh, and as usual, somebody always goes the wrong way. Always hear the plaintive cheeping of the chick that's caught the other side of a fence, of a wall. see that whatever it is <clears throat> I have to watch where I walk dead mouse. We're going to have to deal with that before somebody spots it. Hmm. I suspect human intervention. Don't think my chickens are laying their eggs there. So I let them in, chuck some corn out for them. Got rid of a very stiff dead mouse. Having problems with this sheep. Who, me? Yes, you. So I've had to shut the door again. But they're okay. They've had a bit of corn. through the fence that you haven't got out here. Expat is quite spiteful towards the chicks. This um, pushing the head down is about 
flies I think and I'm not really sure how it helps they all used to walk around in the heat with the flies you know putting their heads down like that the sheep I don't know why she does it I'm not sure what it helps so I did my batch cook this morning of chili con carne we had fun, some for lunch for dinner and five ready to go in the freezer once they're cooled five double portions I need to find them um, look through the recipes on the fast 800 and see what else I can batch cook there's a mushroom stroganoff but I'm uh, not sure about that one batch cooking that it's quite liquidy I'm not sure how it would freeze there's quite a lot of um, chicken in the uh, fast 800 which um, it makes it, it makes it expensive. I think you know you're constantly needing to buy chicken breasts, um, and I've got a freezer full of pork and beef and lamb, organic pork and beef and lamb. So um, sometimes I just have to get a bit of meat out and do it with veg rot, you know, and no taters. need to use what I've got really so we're going to be away for two weeks these are going to grow it's going to look so different when we come back I still don't know who's who's a cockerel who's a hen Nasty piece of work. So Mark is has been tackling the wisteria that is growing up the telephone wire up into the roof, up through it to the gutter and goes round oh they're all following me now. Just in case well just in case I'm gonna throw food somewhere else. Huh? Dear me. So yeah, wisteria growing up which needs cutting back before we go away. So he's done that. He's untangled this again. It just wraps itself round the top of that wire every time. So he's untangled that and I suspect it's him that put the egg on that grillage and pick it up tonight. So he's got to tackle the kiwi which is also growing up. I might have to shout, start shouting, I am not your mother. <laughs> yes, 
yeah, so wisteria's done, kiwi's being done. Well, somebody's got white under their chin. That chick has got white. He wasn't sure whether to do that because um, it looked like um, pigeons were starting to nest in there again. to contort himself out of the bedroom window to do up there and then was worried he'd cut the telephone wire I'm not sure if he's achieved what he was intending to achieve I think I've got something in my crock, on my in my foot. I did have something in my crock, in my foot. It's lethal out there. The chestnut husks from the sweet chestnut lay on the ground all year round, and you only need to, you know, graze across one, and they they're really difficult to get out of your foot. I managed to get it out of my foot. So, got to do some vacuuming and mopping before we leave, but that won't be today. Have an argument about what passport to use. I say that we should use our French passports because it means that we can go through the European lane. I have to be quite um, bossy about that because Mark wants to use them both. I think I've got my way this time. It's ridiculous. It's like you can carry your British passport but use your European one if it means you can use the European lane. Anyway, that's for another time. <laughs>